Hey, good morning guys. It's Rob uh, coming to you from Moab, Utah. I'm actually in my hotel room this morning. Took a motorcycle trip up here um, for four days and uh, we are um, getting ready to leave uh, this morning to go out to Telluride, Colorado and uh, a few other points in the Rocky Mountains that we're going to do some riding today while the weather's nice. So we're looking forward to that. But what I thought I would do this morning, since I'm getting ready to uh, throw my uh, my boots on, is uh, just do a quick review. I've had them for, I don't know, seven months or so, maybe eight months. These are the Tacova Stockton uh, bovine and umber uh, boots that are oiled um, bovine. And they're excellent boots, but I just thought I'd give kind of a recap as to uh, the wear and tear on these boots and um, you know just my impressions of them overall I've had a few questions on them from my initial unboxing video and review apparently uh, I had one of the few reviews of the Stocktons out there so I've had a lot of views on that and I appreciate it but uh, overall uh, the boot itself is excellent of course they're Tacovas, they're excellent quality in my opinion these are work boots, so I'm not really concerned about the aesthetics of the boot itself. Um, but, you know, I wear them almost every day, and there's there's very, there's very no wear and tear on the uh, Vibram sole on the bottom. Uh, the boot itself is, is nice and, and supple. Of course, these are unlined, um, and some people have a problem with that as far as putting them on. And with this video, I'm going to demonstrate... Uh, how I put them on um, simply uh, there's really no break-in if you will I mean they're the same the same as they were when I first bought them the only thing uh, with these is uh, where I where my shifter lever is on my motorcycle there is you know a little bit of uh, you know some um, some wear there not really wear but um, you can tell where the rubber meets the the leather and um, and you, I can clean this up. I, I have cleaned it up before. It, basically, what I do with these boots is I just get a damp cloth and I just wipe them off. Really, that's all you really need to do. Um, but I love the boot, guys. Um, if you're thinking about buying them and you want some good work boots or just some kick around boots and boots that you're not, you know, concerned, you know, with the. Uh, you know the the looks you know going out or anything like that of course you can wear these out i have um these are perfectly fine to do that again you know they're they're unlined so you can see it's just pure pure leather um and and these actually after all these months of having them and wearing them almost daily they still have that great leather smell so i really like that but uh, i'm going to pause the video here for a second i'm going to set up um and put these boots on and basically just show you if you're struggling if you have them you're struggling to put them on you know basically the simplest way to do that so give me a second and I'll be right back with you hey guys Rob back with you um, okay so I'm set up to demonstrate how I put these boots on in the most simple way uh, that I have found possible because um, they are they can be a little difficult to put on um, just straight up because they are online so your your feet don't uh, slip and your heel doesn't slide uh, smoothly uh, into the boot as it would if it was a lined boot on the shaft but uh, let me show you what I do so basically I pull up pull up each leg of my pants straighten up my socks and uh, take the boot itself and basically um, get it started as you would a normal pair of boots and what I do is I make sure that my heel is just at the base of the shaft so it's just sitting there and then what I have done is I bought a set of boot hooks and I highly recommend these I got them on Amazon I think they were no more than fifteen dollars for these but uh, they're a lifesaver so you just kind of you know grab the the straps on each shaft of the boot and pull up and there you go so that's one one boot so, so simple to do and I've recommended this to a couple of people who have asked 
uh, how to do this in the past. Um, that's that's exactly what I do. And then of course to pull them off, I just bought a cheap uh, boot puller uh, just to pull my boots off uh, when I'm done with them. And uh, and I just I carry them on my motorcycle. I carry them in my bag, and uh, they fit nicely. Nothing expensive. I know. Tacova sells one, um, very high quality made. That's just a cheap China, uh, uh, cheap plastic knockoff um, that I got um, just for every day. I think it came as a two two piece set, really, and one of them actually broke. So, so there's that. And then uh, this one here, ready to go. Again, pull them on. And if you have a hard time even with these, then all you have to do is just stand up and they'll pop right in. So guys, that's it. That's how you put on the uh, Tacova boots. And, uh, you know, you pull your pants back over them. And, uh, and you're ready to go. So, so that's them. And I'll tell you what, once they're on... It's like wearing wearing slippers to me I mean they're super comfortable I wear them all day long and uh, have no issues whatsoever with them um, I kick them around I've been in rain with them I've, I've had no problems whatsoever with these boots so uh, if you're thinking about it that's my opinion on it um, think about it yourself and uh, let me know what you think all right guys talk to you later